Hunger Games Review Part 1. This is Katniss's mood. In the beginning, she's kind of like, eh, medium. You get halfway through, and she's like, on edge. You get towards, like, the third part of the book, and she starts going crazy. And then it's back down to medium and all that. And then, I if that makes sense, dude... I'm trying to say is her mood changes way too dramatically throughout the book, and it's honestly, like, in some situations, I feel like her mood swings were called for, uh, like, um, when the guy from District 1 killed Rue, I feel like that, that explained the mood change entirely. But another complaint I have, fuck, too fucking weirdo looking at me on my phone right now. Another thing I have a complaint with is the pacing during the last 30 pages of the book. It's just, it's just everywhere during the last 30 minutes. Um, I feel like Suzanne Collins was just in a rushed state for the book. I don't know. It's just the last 30 pages to me seems like she's just trying to get it the fuck done with. Like, just not even wanting to add anything more. To the story, just telling them what happens, not trying to set up anything for the next book, just kind of detailing it, detail, getting it done with, just saying what happens, not giving thought to what could happen. And the third thing is a complaint with the movies. The mayor, nor the mayor's daughter, is in the movies. In fact, she doesn't even get the mocking Jay pin from the uh, mayor of the daughter, uh, Madge, I believe. She gets it from a marketplace. Anyways, I'm going to get Catching Fire soon. I'll give that review in another two weeks. Alright, bye.